Get a results for our veterans, hundreds and thousands of dollars at a time. And we're talking about the Mecham auction this past weekend. They were unique trucks that were auctioned off for the Gary Sinise Foundation. And Trooper Steve told us all about the event last week. He's here now with the update in serving those who serve. That's right, ladies. This was so cool and a great example of how a bunch of people can come together to get results for an amazing cause. First, Sunbelt Reynolds bought and donated the 2021 Bronco to the Gary Sinise Foundation. And if you don't know who Gary is, well, you'll probably remember him as the actor who played Lieutenant Dan in the Forrest Gump movie. Then, legendary auto designer Chip Foose, who stepped in to soup this truck up. He told us all about it before the truck hit the auction block. You know, it's truly an honor to be involved with the Bronco and the Gary Sinise Foundation. Sunbelt bought the Bronco, they brought it to me. We did suspension on it, wheels, tires, we did some interior work, we did all the graphics. We used Gary Sinise Foundation, his challenge coin right here. That is the key to all the graphics. Everything comes from that, goes to the back, and it's all the first responders and uh, the military, everybody that, uh, you know, without our military, we wouldn't be here enjoying cars today. So we gotta give back and help those who keep our freedom for us. And that's what this is all about. Then when the Bronco hit the auction block, Gary Sinise himself was along with Foose up on that stage. And that's when we found the winning bidder who would get extra something special. Generally, all of my original drawings I still have, but I went ahead and framed the original drawing of the Bronco, and the top bidder is not only gonna get the Bronco, but you get this original drawing of it as well. The bidding continues, well over a quarter of a million dollars, and finally. $350,000. Thank you, sir. America, thank you. Thank you, Gary you. Foundation, thank you. thank you very much. What an amazing, amount of money right there, all for veterans. You can see the winning bidder right there, posing with Foose and Sinise. Sinise told us a little bit about what the money would ultimately support. We have multiple programs at the Gary Sinise Foundation. I mentioned the Soaring Valor program for our World War II veterans, but we build homes for our wounded veterans. We've done over 80 uh, specially adapted smart technology homes for disabled veterans. These are, you know, the first home I uh, raise money to build was for a quadruple amputee who lost both arms and both legs in a bombing. Then we had several others who, uh, the same injury, so we built five houses for our quadruple amputees and that led to building for multiple wounded service members and now we've done over 80 homes. That's, that's called our RISE program, Restoring Independence, Supporting Empowerment. That's just one program at the Gary Sinise Foundation. You I started the foundation because I have a lot of veterans in my own family. I care about our, the men and women who serve our country. I know where my freedom comes from. I don't take it for granted. And I created the foundation in order for kind of, kind of a, uh, to serve as kind of a rallying point for our fellow citizens who want to support the men and women who serve our country. That truck is gorgeous. They'll certainly be able to donate a lot with that $350,000 to help out our veterans. We're glad to see it. And of course, for more information on the foundation, we have a link to the Gary Sinise Foundation in our resources for our veterans. You can find that article over at clickorlando.com slash veterans right at the top page. And what's really awesome is I found out the chief of St. Cloud Police Department is our local chapter president. So Prepare for more. I think we're going to have them in here soon. So, ladies, back to you. It's a fabulous network. Thank you, Trooper Steve.